Here's another quick little uh, every mechanic should know this video. Man, I'll tell you one of the most, I say this all the time, don't I? You guys that follow this channel, I always say the most overlooked item, but th this one is, and that is right here. Putting a new battery strap on this. Um, man, especially with the cafe bikes and the chopper world and everything else, I mean, people really overlook the significance of this piece. And what that's doing is securing this battery from moving, but it's still rubber dampened. Some of them have specific thickness of pads and heights. And I mean, there's so much intention in this not shaking this, allowing this to shake back and forth. Because when this shakes back and forth, the battery cables come loose. And when the battery cables come loose, it starts off to put extra resistance, which uh, wears out the electrical components faster because it puts a bunch of heat. Extra resistance is not a good thing. Um, anyway, so I, I just, another thing I was just thinking about this, just want to stress this so much. Make sure on all your batteries, think about all the ATVs and, and Harleys or anything out there. It really doesn't matter that these things sit and flop all over the place. I've had customer vehicles come in where the batteries had fallen out from, uh, you know, being worked on or something or, or whatnot. So see it a lot. Why don't you fix it? You craftsmen and women and, uh, um, think about how to secure these properly. And, and, you know, your best source is the OEM parts fish to know, well, what was their intention? Was there a cover with a pad? Sometimes the covers are formed to have like a locking piece. Um, this one in my, opinion right here you know it's it's surprising that there's not a cover right here that would kind of square this up but um have to go to the microfish to surely find out anyway there's your tip of the day keep on wrenching uh make it great